After hours of traveling, two brothers still mourning the death of their father described what it was like to leave their mother behind in a country they fear. She said, I just want you guys to be safe and away from this horrible place. And no matter what happens to me, don't ever come back. At the airport, authorities confiscated Miriam Mobini's Iranian passport. She was banned from leaving Iran in a situation the family describes as complete chaos and terror. It began in January when Kavu Saida Mami, a sociology professor and dual citizen, was suddenly arrested and held in the notorious Evan prison. Two weeks later, officials told the family he had killed himself while in custody, a claim the family doesn't believe. We have been forced to endure constant threats and harassment by the Iranian authorities. Which is why they wanted to return to Vancouver, where they once lived. The brothers believe Iranian authorities blocked their mother from leaving because they wanted the family to stop speaking out, a tactic which they say failed. Canada's foreign affairs minister has spoken to Miriam Mobini over the phone. The federal government has also contacted Iranian officials, but so far, no response. We're going to exercise all diplomatic channels and all options that are before us. But experts say those options are limited. This is a regime that takes uh, foreigners, in this case dual citizens in particular, uh, basically as hostages. Thomas Juneau used to work as an analyst with Canada's Department of National Defence. He says because this country cut diplomatic ties with Iran in 2012, it doesn't have much leverage. We don't have diplomats on the ground over there every day uh, talking to their Iranian counterparts or at least trying to talk to them to, to pressure them to find a solution. Thank you. The federal government says it's working with the UN and diplomatic officials from Italy who are in Tehran to try and reunite a family that's still grieving. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver.